kind of some questions just kind of about the season overall, not just on this particular game. Let's start with Justin. Um, what kind of things have you been doing in the offseason to kind of uh, get yourself ready for this year? What's your goals? Look like you uh, put on some mass there. Uh, we just uh, we had a good uh, weight room program in the summer. Yeah. Uh, we played in a few summer leagues, and uh, we just stayed in the gym every day getting shots up and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And then uh, our goals this season are basically just to win the championship and then uh, how far we're going to the NCAA tournament. Ethereum, yeah. and, and what, uh, where do you guys think you need to go as far as to get to that goal of winning the championship? What do you guys need to improve on from last year? Um, you know, we still need to improve on our defense and rebounding. Um, you know, we're a veteran team, so we're pretty good on the offensive end. We can get a bucket whenever we want. But uh, basically defense and rebounding, you know, and uh, just make smart decisions. We should be in good shape. How are the new guys fitting in? Uh, saw Kenny out there. It looks like he gives you guys another shooter, another ball handler. So how's it with being the uh, the new guys fitting in with the transfers? Oh, they've been in pretty good. You know, uh, they do what Coach Law asked them to do. They uh, play hard and play smart, you know, come in there and be humble. And just play their role, you know. And at the end of the day, everybody eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Justin, you know, you're getting all these preseason All-American honors, Player of the Year and all that. I mean, does that really have any effect on you? Does that make you hungry or do you even worry about that stuff? Uh, it's preseason. just like teams get ranked in the preseason and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, my main concern is just the team. And like I said, we're winning championship this year. That's it. What's the... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> Aside from uh, Grand Valley and Fiddling are obviously you know, kind of the, the favorites. Uh, do you feel like you guys may be under radar a little bit as uh, kind of the national scene and think you maybe you could sneak up on some people this year? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. if you ask me, I think we got the most talent out here. We just got to, you know, continue to be humble and play basketball, play team yeah. basketball, you know. Yeah. The sky's the limit, you know. Coach, uh, as far as tonight's game, um, you guys struggled a little bit in the second half offensively. Did their defensive switching with the zones and going back and forth, did that kind of slow you guys down a little bit? I think it did a little bit. I think, uh, you know, we had, they, they really decided to make a real considered effort to, to double and triple Keenan. And then we got some really good kicks. Yeah. You know, we missed some, some, some shots. I mean, the gay <laughs> uh, and, and Manta Hart, we had, we had some really, really good looks. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, this, this is the whole thing. This is basketball, right? You're going to have games where in the second half, it's happened before, right? You, you don't shoot very well. We shot 33%. We missed some good shots, a couple of not very good turnovers. But what we did in comparison to probably last year as we continue to compete, right? The 50-50 balls, loose balls that were on the floor, we got every one of them. Um, you know, a couple of jump balls, a couple that we just got crashed the glass really hard all over again. Um, you know, some big offensive rebounds by guys. So, you know, if you're going to do it, you got to, I mean, because some nights the shots aren't going to fall. That's just life, right? And we got enough shooters. I mean, I, I had all the little confidence in the world. Next time you play, they're going to go in, right? But if they don't, you still got to be able to persevere and get it done, and we did that tonight for sure. I'm um, just looking at the first half. Uh, the first half on Saturday, maybe not the defensive uh, output that you wanted, but this first half, shoot 29% for them. So was that an emphasis during the off day? Oh, I think so. I think we knew um, going into this game we had to we had to stop the transition, which I thought we did a great job of. And I mean, our, our defensive position tonight was great. I mean, there was literally some textbook moves. I mean, you know, Justin's right here, but there was a couple times where, where you know one of their players loves thirty four loves to go into the middle. You know, that guy was the, the player of the year in uh, in uh, the regional tournament last year. Um, you know, he was one nine today. Um, but you know, Danny turned him. And just was right there, pitching perfect, boom, ran, right, ran right into him off of the help. It was active help. You know, those are things that, that really get it done. And our defense, I thought, was outstanding in those cases. And then, uh, Darian, you know, um, how do you like your role, you know, coming off the bench, being kind of an offensive spark? Uh, I like it. Actually, I mean, you know, I come off the bench and keep the guys off the bench, keep their head in the game, you know. I just feel like I'm just, you know, the leader beside Justin, you know. So, you know, I... My final question for you guys, I'll start with Dustin. Uh, thinking back to your freshman year when you guys got here, I mean, you played a lot right away, but, you know, the team wasn't real successful. What have you guys learned over the last three years, and, and how do you feel like you've improved? Um, uh, the main thing is just uh, to go out and compete every night um, as a freshman. 
one, it's hard. You just get acclimated to the college game and college life. Uh, but just to play hard and, and uh, like coaches stress in the off season and really this season, and we have players on the team, like you said, Kenny and uh, new incomers, just believing that defense and rebounding wins games. And so that's uh, so that's why I think we've improved on, but we still need to improve on through the season. It's, it's real early. So um, we just need to keep uh, continuing to get better on defense and rebounding, and we should be fine. What about you, Darian? Um, can you repeat the question one more time? Oh, come in, think it back to your freshman year. Uh, where do you think you have improved uh, as far as your game and kind of the team? And what have, what have you kind of learned since then? Uh, and what makes you, uh, you know, kind of well, translate into being an experienced senior now? Uh, first of all, was uh, decision making and the speed of the game. You know, it was totally different from high school. And uh, I mean, uh, other than that, yeah. that's basically it. And just, you know, playing hard and competing every night. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Coach, I. Uh, I don't know, have any more questions for you guys. But Coach, uh, I asked them, what do you think needs to improve from last year to this year for you guys to take that next step, being a good team to be an NCAA tournament team, GLIAC championship team? Well, I mean, I think you saw a little bit of it tonight, right? Um, you know, perseverance. I mean, all the things I think these guys are going to bring because, you know, when you're a senior, you know, that, all that experience comes into the fold. Um, you know, we have I mean, they'll, they'll tell you, we, we've emphasized defense and rebounding the entire preseason. Um, and I think our offense is a little behind right now. we got we got to tighten a few things up here and there. Um, but, you know, that's, that's if you look at all the teams, right, even even the NCAA tournament last year, Duke Butler, what they both do, they defended really well and they rebounded really well. And that's that's what I think where we need to improve big time. I think I, I, I really think, you know, second half of Calvin, you know, basically the Indiana game, you know, you look at this game pretty much for the whole 40 minutes, I, th I think that's where we're really making first strides. And how about that Indiana game? Was that a confidence builder for you guys going down there in a Big Ten school? And I mean, really, you should have won with that last second shot. Yeah, I mean, I mean they can probably answer that. I, I, I certainly hope it did, you know? I mean, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. For the confidence boosting, the fact that we know that we can compete with anybody. We're going to play hard every night. It wasn't, we went into Indiana thinking, oh man, like we're playing against uh, yeah. Lakers or something. I mean, everybody puts their shoes on. Same way with you at Michigan State, Fair State. So I don't necessarily, I mean, it was a, I mean, they're a good uh, D1 team, so it was nice, you know, to go in there and compete with them. But I don't think anybody went in the game thinking this is like an unbeatable team. Yeah. I mean, I thought was one thing that was cool is I, I thought, you know, player for player, we, 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 you know, that's a good sign, right? Our guys competed just as hard, and we just said a lot about it, you know. I would tell you one thing, you know, if we could just go play in the park without, if they didn't have Indiana on the shirt, right? Um, and play in some other gym, it might have been a different story. But, you know, I mean, like Justin, I, I, thought, I thought Justin was the best player on the floor there, like, you know, which is saying a lot. So... And uh, you know, we had it, we had it, we did, we played well. And trust me, it, it, we, we didn't pat each other on the back at all about, you know, hey, we competed in the end. I mean, we should have won the game. I mean, we all know that. Um, we, we, we lost it. They didn't win it. So, you know, that, 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 that's, a, that's a good reminder as we go through the season. And uh, how, how do you feel about the newcomers? Uh, you get a couple of guys uh, getting a lot of playing time already, Kenny and, and Terrell. I mean, I know Terrell practiced with the team last year, but yeah. how do you feel like those newcomers are fitting in so far? They're going to help us huge. You know, I mean, you know, Kenny, Kenny's a good, another good ball handler. You know, he made two big threes here. Um, you know, and just the same as anything else, he's got to work on it. You know, and Terrell, Terrell's been really good. I mean, he's going to be a dynamite player. Um, you know, we, we're trying to find a little more consistency with him a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, when he was when, he, when, he, when he's ready to go, let me tell you, he flat out is a, it can do a lot of really good things, and so we're really looking forward to him to make that next step here soon. Do you think you're a more athletic team than you were last year? With you look at the guys you lost, you look at the guys that you're adding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think we're a little more athletic. I think uh, I think we have a little more of a mindset. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed practice because because we've we've really gone and, and, and practiced hard every day. Um, I can't say that was a honest, with all honesty, that happened last year. And then I think, I think we have everybody, you know. And again, I think maybe that's a little bit of my fault, not maybe not emph emphasizing it enough. But we've had guys buy into, hey, we're going to defend and rebound this year. Thanks, guys. I